What's up guys, this is the new ASUS Zen Wi-Fi BT10 and it's designed to boost your Wi-Fi coverage throughout your home. It supports the latest Wi-Fi 7 standard and it is backwards compatible with previous wireless standards. So I'm going to do my full-on speed test ratios with my following Wi-Fi devices and in just in case if you guys have the new iPhone 16 Pro or the Pro Max, even though this is a Wi-Fi 7 device, just know as of now, I'm unable to get Wi-Fi 7 speeds out of this thing with every mesh system that I've tested. I've done a separate video on this. If there is an update to that in the future, I'll let you guys know. Having trouble, stop, call us. So the basic things that ASUS typically includes. This is the mesh system right here. So this is what it looks like and it's very similar to the BQ16 Pro. It's basically the younger sibling of it and uh, it does have less ports as well. It obviously also costs less as well. So, but the shape of it is pretty similar to it. So we got vents pretty much all around on all the sides. And even on the bottom, we got a reset button right here on the left and we got the WPS button on the right. And then we got some ports on the bottom. So we got on, on the back and the back. So we got the USB 3.0. We got a gigabit port right here that can be used for the internet when sending for a wide area network, or you can hook up your internet to the 10 gig port, which is what I'm, I'm going to do. And then this comes out at 10 gig, which is great because you have two 10 gig ports, which means in my case, because my internet speeds are five gigs up and down, I can go in at five and come out at five. We got the power port and we got the power switch right there. And the secondary one is exactly the same as the primary one. And we got the power supply, it is 100 to 240 volts and the output is 36 watts. Comes with a CAT6 Ethernet cable. And we got the warranty notice, the setup instructions, the quick start guide and different language quick start guide. So I had a chance to play with the ASUS BT10 and it's an absolute beast of a mesh system. It actually performed better than what I was expecting and I was expecting quite a bit. So they really hit it out of the park with the BT10. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal mesh system. All right, so I did all the speed test range tests. We're gonna jump straight in, starting with the internet speed test. Now, as you guys already know, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds. For me, that would be five gigabits per second upload and download, even though this thing has two 10 gig ports. And I love the fact that it has two 10 gig ports because I could come in at five and go out at five. So I'm not losing any of those speeds. When I do a speed test on my ethernet connected device, I do get those full five gig speeds, obviously, because I do have a fast enough card in the computer as well. Now, the Wi-Fi devices aren't as fast. So looking at the results for an internet speed test, I got above 3.3 gigabits per second download. And for the upload, not quite as fast, but still very, very fast, considering it's an internet speed test of over two gigabits per second. Now to find the true performance of this beast, I need to do a local speed test server. So I make my computer to the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And in the case of wired and wireless backhaul, I go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which then jumps to the primary one, which then goes to the server. So looking at the results here, there's even faster speeds through over 3.5 gigabits per second download, very, very fast. And the upload, now we're talking at 3.2 gigabits per second. Now, the beauty of this, again, since it has two 10 gig ports, looking at the wired backhaul results, we got very similar speeds. So this thing is just fast all around. And then finally, we get to the wireless backhaul, obviously not going to be as fast as wired backhaul, but still got some very fast speeds, especially for the download section of being over two gigabits per second. Now we jump into range test. Now range will vary drastically by location. If you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, essentially the more obstructions you have, typically the less range you're going to get. Now in my case at 20 feet inside my place, definitely a reduction in speed, however still going blazing fast. And then at 50 feet, this is when it's getting more and more impressive. The further away I go, it, I'm getting absurdly fast speeds at over two gigs down and 1.1, almost close to 1.2 up upload. And then for at 100 feet, I got over 1.1 gigabits per second for the download and not obviously a pretty big drop for the upload, but still got some really very, very usable speed. This is me across the street. Now, very important to note, the way I got these crazy fast speeds was this. So when you first set this thing up, it makes two SSIDs. An SSID is basically your Wi-Fi name. So one is 
for Wi-Fi 7 devices, and then it makes a separate one for an Internet of Things. Now, what I did was the Wi-Fi 7 one, which is pretty much only Wi-Fi 7 devices connect to it. That one, I actually disabled the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band. And then I just left the 6 gigahertz band, and so my devices, when they connect, they just connect to the 6 gigahertz band, and it's incredibly fast. Incredibly fast. That's how I got these crazy fast beats. Now, for the Internet of Things Wi-Fi, what I did was I actually just deleted that network, and I made a separate guest network. And when you make a network, a guest network, you can actually pick to have access to everything within the network. So I just enabled that, and then just pretty much all my devices just connect to that. And it just makes life so much easier when, you, when I do it that way. So I just have my super fast devices connecting to the Wi-Fi 7 network and pretty much everything else connecting to, the, to that guest network that actually has access to my intranet. And then I also make a separate guest network so when guests come over they just connect to that network. And the really cool thing about ASUS is that they have so many options and they're all included for the price. That's really the best part of it. So when you're making an SSID, you can make a guest network, you can make an Internet of Things Wi-Fi, you can make a kids Wi-Fi network. So you can actually make a network that pretty much has a set time. So if let's say if my kids were going to connect to that network, that network would go down after a certain time because I can actually set that up. So that's actually pretty cool by default that I can actually do that. You can also make a separate MLO multi-link operation Wi-Fi. And in fact, when I made the 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi 7 one, that one was actually the fastest. So that's the one that I tested with. Okay. But other than that, ASUS has so many options, especially if you go to the browser interface. There are so many options there. It's, it's, it's crazy how many options there are. And again, everything's included in the price. They have additional protections. You can set up VPN stuff. You can set the the amount of power, the Wi-Fi to transmit, like th there's so many things to customize. It's almost, uh, they're pretty much number one when it comes to customization. So in summary, this thing is an absolute base of a mesh system and actually performed better than what I was expecting. And again, I was expecting quite a bit. So very fast speeds. It has the two 10 gig ports, so I don't lose any of my speeds. I got my full five gigs on my computer. Very fast Wi-Fi speeds, very good range, very good wireless backhaul performance. So really, <laughs> and I also get all those additional features and you get the three year warranty as well. So Asus hit it right out of the park with the BT10. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button, like the video, share the video, and let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. Are you guys planning on getting one? Do you have one? How's your experience with it? And yeah, thank you guys for watching.